What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at a silver inform who goes by the name Emmanuel Thomas. By looking at his card stats, he looks really, really good. By looking at his in-game stats, he looks really strong as well. But is that the whole story? We're going to find out in just a second. But if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Now let's get down right to it. Decent pace, he has like 75 pace or somewhere around there on his card stats. He feels exactly like that. I think he has 81 sprint speed though. So after he accelerates, he becomes really, really fast. Now, there is one thing that you guys have to know. If you're looking for a strong striker, this guy is quite strong. But after a couple of pushes from defenders, he won't be as strong as you expected. Do you know why? Because his aggression is quite low. And when your aggression is quite low, that means you can't hold off defenders as much as other strikers. So if he, ha if he had 86 strength with like 80 or 90 aggression, he will be, you know, putting up with defenders for a longer period of time. But with him, he can hold them off for one or two pushes and then they will take the ball off him. That's how it is with Emmanuel. Thomas. He has full star weak foot and full star skills but his biggest selling point is going to be his shooting. He has an amazing left foot. This guy's left foot he is simply amazing. He has like it's like having Van Persie as a silver striker. Seriously his left foot is really really good. He also has really reliable finesse shots. You will see this in the video and he can don't get me wrong he's not a weak player. He can hold off defenders until you get to the penalty area so he can then just up your striker. Now he has decent heading as well. I crossed it a couple of times. He won me a couple of headers in the air nothing too special nothing too great but he isn't shit at heading so if you're looking for a target man he is um average in the air i guess not too special but he is a silver inform so he's not really a goal player not expecting him to win every header like a goal player like inform bentner but this guy is decent at it as well now a couple of things that i really disliked about him is this is a major one is his low and low work rates don't get me wrong he's always in the right position but he's never making fucking runs this guy is probably the laziest player i have tried he's lazier than akin fenua akin fenua might make a couple of runs here and there this guy no runs at all he does not make any runs he's still to dribble the ball with his agility is quite low and his balance this is another thing you have to consider if you're looking for a strong striker this guy's balance is really really low i think it's somewhere in the 40s so you will find him on the ground quite a bit even though it shows that he has really high strength his low his low aggression and his low balance take away from that strength that he has so overall he's a really good striker like you could try him out for 50 to 60 k but don't expect him to be a world-class striker who is going to be amazing or anything like that. He's decent at what he does. He's amazing. He's an amazing finisher in the penalty area as well. So if you're looking for a goal scorer or a, you know, a silver target man, this might be the man for you. So if you guys enjoyed this review, I'd really appreciate a like from you guys. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next from this team of the week. There's still a couple of silver informs I really want to try out. And also, what chemistry style would you use on this player? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a very nice day.